Steps to create a jacket. With your character selected, click new cloth and place the vertices. Set the circles around the character. They define the shape of the generated cloth. Click generate top. Click on paint and click shrink wrap. Paint shrink wrap wherever you want to shrink wrap onto your character. You can adjust the offset in the modifiers tab. Paint smooth to smoothen places out. In sculpt mode, with the grab brush, you can pull the shirt apart to open it. Select edges and press shift E and drag to make the edge sharp. Select edges and press ctrl E and click on mark sharp to create seams. Sharpen out the edges of the cloth and we're good to go with the shape so far. Now for physics. To get that interesting shape, we want all these areas to pull the cloth, so we paint deflation. We want this other area to inflate, so hold control and paint inflation. The same for this area of the jacket. To lock this area onto the character, paint pinning. Completely red means that region will not simulate, but it will follow the character. We pin the wrist with a hard red and see, it stays in place. Now for accessories. To add a collar, press add collar. Adjust the sharpness of the corners and the shape of the collar. The collar is good to go. With a pocket shape, place it onto the cloth and press bind. I'll soon be providing a library of assets such as pockets, zips and buttons. Assign the zip object, select the edge row and press add zip. For now, the zipper function is experimental. It has been improved since launch, but it's still classed as experimental. Select the zip and press bind, so now it is glued to the cloth. You can also make the zip handle, place it near the cloth and click bind. Select the cloth and click bind, so it binds all the areas you've pinned onto your character. Finally, you can tweak the physics settings in the cloth modifier if you want the cloth to behave differently, and that's it. This is another fast-paced overview of the design cut workflow. In this one, we create a jacket, set where we want to shrink and inflate, added a stiff collar, and finally added a zip and some very basic pockets. In real time, this took me 4 minutes and 50 seconds to create using Divine Cut. As a slow tutorial, it took about 18 minutes, but I've decided to make it a fast paced overview just to show the workflow for this jacket. The next video will likely be much slower to show you the workflow for different styles of clothing and different ways of using the tool. Thank you.